Hey there, Justin from You Join Offroad in Colorado here again. I'm sending this one home today. This is a 2019 uh, E450 Coach House. Um, these are super, super cool. Um, this is our second Coach House we've done now, but these things are all hand built down in Florida and they're just really, really well put together. We really like, really like doing them. Um, so this one came to us all the way from Georgia uh, for the conversion. It is a V10. It's got a 6R140 trans behind that. Uh, started off with our standard six inch four wheel drive conversion. Custom spec Alcan springs. Got the frame all cleaned up. Single Fox 2.0s. Um, pretty much standard on all of our RV builds. Stage three front axle, 456 gears to match the stock rear 456s. Detroit True Track, straight tide rod. Everything is Dynatrack from the knuckles out. Got serviceable wheel bearings, big 14 and a half inch brakes. Um, got our standard American racing wheel, which we had powder coated in a uh, color called uh, Super Chrome uh, in an attempt to kind of match the uh, silver on the top. I think it turned out really well. Um, so we went Toyos on this one, 285, 70, 17 in the front. That's a AT3W. Uh, got a Bushwhacker fender flares got our side steps and then we also the coach houses have a little side running light that's over here and we re reintegrated that underneath uh, for approach lighting which is kind of cool um, the front end we got our FB 004 tube style front bumper we got the Baja light upgrade Warren VR 12 s winch factor 55 thimble Warren shackles Little flip up license plate for winch access. Front receiver. This one does have our OBA, so the OBA is hooked up. Front Anderson plug, of course. Black OEM Ford grill with the uh, amber lights flushed in. And then, of course, our favorite blacked out Vantage Optics lights, projector LEDs. This one got a door mounted S pod because it's got a factory trailer brake controller. And got some Shieldman seats too, which are really, really, really nice. Um, in the back, rear axle's all stock. Um, this thing had this big old monster sway bar in the back already. So we just added our direct mount links, our custom spec springs in the back, and the single Fox 2.0s. And of course, had the uh, our custom spec or our custom machined uh, Dodge 17-inch dually rear wheels, uh, powder coated in that same uh, super chrome, and a matching Toyo AT3W and a 255-80-17 in the back. Um, this one we did a little bit different. He wanted to tie together the black bushwhackers in the back also, so we did a flexi flare in the back also. Came out pretty good. And then. Big old monster custom rear bumper on this thing. So he wanted lots of storage. Sorry about the shadow. He got it. So these are Alvan's large expedition boxes. And then we made our own little brackets down here. We kind of partially obstructed the taillight, so we went ahead and did some uh, additional taillights down here as well. And then we made these custom firewood trays for this top, which have a uh, mount spot for a couple little um, Baja Designs S2 Sport uh, work lights. We have those tied into the reverse light circuit and then we also have an override on the S-Pod as well so you can turn them on whenever you'd like. And we've got our OBA port at the back and then we relocated the license plate to the door of that one also. So really cool bumper. These Alvan's boxes are really cool. So, and then, of course, we got them outfitted. Um, our friends Adventure Tool Company, they make these. Their large recovery bag fits perfectly in these boxes, and it also fits perfectly in our Pelican case. And then we got that loaded up with all the Factor 55 recovery gear essentials. And then, of course, we've got our Indeflate tire deflation tool. It sits in here nicely. And then every time we do one of these rear bumpers, this 4x4 tube is thicker wall 
Um, so most people's Blackwater pipes that came with their rig don't fit anymore. So we just supply these new ones, with these nice magnetic caps. So that's that. If you got any questions, um, feel free to shoot me an email, justin at youjoinoffroad.com. Um, if you're inquiring about uh, install in North Carolina or a DIY kit, email chris at youjoinoffroad.com. Thank you.